I'm Dr. Bradley J. Marcus. I'm a forensic pathologist and the Richland County Chief Medical Examiner. I actually speak for the dead. I'm, I'm their last doctor that they see. And I take that relationship very, very seriously because I'm trying to explain what happened to them. Press your left hand on the bottom and raise your right and face the My feeling is, is that when I get on the stand, it's over for the defendant. I have never seen a case like this before. And this is probably one in a lifetime type case. I'm very confident in what I do, and I know what I'm doing in that autopsy room. And it, based on my track record over the last 10 years, when I go to court and testify, people are convicted. I knew that the girl, Miss Parker, had been shot multiple times, because I had gone to the scene and seen her body there. I only knew about uh, Mr. Captain Hurst that he had shot in the head. That's what I was told, so I was assuming that his case was going to be a real straightforward one for me to do. He was brought out in the, uh, the body bag. So we opened the body bag, and I saw he still had all his clothing on, on him. And right away, I knew these guys did, were doing multiple gunshot wounds here, multiple. As I'm unclothing it, a bullet, one of the discs from the 410 shot shell round, falls out. So I'm like, that's odd. And then I realized that he actually had been shot there was a, also a, shot, a gunshot right to his left forearm here, which I don't think anybody noticed at the scene. One of the bones was completely broken. You can actually see the break? You can see the break right there. You see that, the black space? There shouldn't be any black space. You can see the crack in the bone right there. To me, he would not have been able to have a gun in his hand at that, with that type of injury there. It would have knocked anything out of his hand. And then he falls backwards, lands on the ground like this, and then he sustained a final gunshot wound to the, to the middle of the head. 